Today on Book Break, we are celebrating some of our biggest heroes, doctors and nurses. And of course, there are so many heroes that we're so grateful for, especially at this time. Everyone from hospital porters to care workers and social workers to every kind of essential worker. But in this video, we are celebrating doctors and nurses from history to the present who have always done so much for us to keep us safe. And I've got a mixture of fiction and non-fiction in this video, quite a lot of books because there are so many to celebrate these amazing people. So settle in. So let's start with non-fiction and I first of all want to mention a book that is coming out in October that is A Nurse's Story by Louise Curtis with Sarah Johnson. So that is Louise Curtis's first person account of being a frontline nurse during the Covid-19 crisis. So absolutely nail-biting stuff and just her incredible account of what NHS staff are going through every day. So that one is going to be amazing when it comes out in October but next I'll talk about some books you can get your hands on right now. First up, War Doctor by David Knott. So David Knott is a surgeon who works within the NHS but he also volunteers to work as a doctor in disaster zones and war zones and he's been doing this for over 25 years. He's now considered the most experienced trauma surgeon in the world and in 2015 he actually set up a foundation to train other doctors to deal with the same disasters. So this book is his memoir and it is incredibly passionate and moving. And then for a classic memoir, The Wonderful Adventures of Mrs Seacole in Many Lands is the memoir of the nurse Mary Seacole who was born in Jamaica and travelled through many countries, through the Caribbean, through the Bahamas, through Central America, all the way to England. And she came to offer her support to troops during the Crimean War and for a long time was really really underappreciated but she was so driven by her desire to help people. So again this is an amazing memoir. And then of course there's This Is Going To Hurt by Adam Kay, a really famous one. Adam Kay was a doctor for many years and and this book is a collection of his diaries that he kept as a junior doctor. So they are very, very funny, unsurprisingly, because Adam Kay then did go on to become a comedy writer. But they're also very moving. There are some stories in this book that will just absolutely take your breath away thinking about what doctors and nurses go through every single day and will make you even more grateful than you hopefully already were for our NHS. And another very famous medical book is When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi, which was sadly published posthumously. So this book is the memoir of the neurosurgeon Paul Kalanithi. It's about his career, but also about his own battle with lung cancer, which he died from at only 38 years old. So it's particularly touching on that relationship between a doctor and patient, written by somebody who has been both. And then there's The First Breath by Olivia Gordon. So Olivia Gordon is a mother who's child was diagnosed with this condition called hydrops fetalis via a scan while he was still in the womb. So the book is about the surgery that he had to have while still in the womb as well as the first five months of his life spent in neonatal care after he was born prematurely and very unwell. And so in the book Olivia Gordon who's a journalist explores fetal and neonatal medicine and the amazing doctors and nurses who save and look after such fragile lives. So again, very moving. Then a really interesting book is Black Man in a White Coat by Damon Tweedy. So Damon Tweedy is a doctor who discovered himself that when he started medical school that race and medicine intersected in so many more ways than he imagined. So he faces racism himself as a black doctor but also came across so many conditions and illnesses that were described as being much more common in black people but without any proper research being done into why that was. So the book is this investigation into the really complex economic and social factors that might lead into a lot of the health problems within the black community and Damon Tweedy himself is actually diagnosed with a chronic condition that is known to be more common in black patients so he's really exploring this issue from all sides as a doctor and a patient and it's this call to action for more research that's needed as well as more compassionate care and better treatment of black patients so it's really eye-opening stuff. For fans of shows like House, who love that intersection where medicine meets mystery and almost detective work, you will love Unnatural Causes by Dr Richard Shepherd, who is a forensic pathologist. So he has performed thousands of autopsies, including on really high profile cases, and the book is 
all about where medicine meets crime investigation. And then my last non-fiction recommendation is Toxic Childhood Stress by Dr Nadine Burke Harris, which is a book that really highlights the importance of the medical research going on behind the scenes. Dr Burke Harris is the Surgeon General of California, and this book is her groundbreaking research into the link between childhood trauma and one's present and future health. And the book also comes with a test where you can examine your own childhood experiences and the effect that they might still be having on you. Now, moving into fiction, a book coming out this month is The Pull of the Stars by Emma Donoghue. This is set during the Great Flu epidemic, so a lot of parallels to our current situation. It's set in a hospital in Ireland on a maternity ward, and it's about a doctor, nurse, and a volunteer looking after these pregnant women who are all being quarantined together after coming down with the flu. So really scary stuff, but it is absolutely a story of hope and survival. And then a classic fiction book is The Citadel by AJ Cronin. This is actually a book which is credited with inspiring the creation of the NHS. It's about a newly qualified doctor who goes to work in a Welsh mining town and discovers the limitations of practicing medicine there, as well as the massive unfair contrast between the very exclusive, expensive medical practices in London. A book that was talked about a lot a few years ago was Small Great Things by Jodie Pico. So this is about an African-American delivery nurse who was told she's not allowed to touch one of the babies in her nursery because the parents are white supremacists. So when this baby goes into cardiac arrest, when she's the only nurse on duty, she hesitates for a moment before performing CPR because of this order. And because of this, she is then charged with a very serious crime. So the book is about her going through this court case with a lawyer who insists that they shouldn't even mention race at all. Winter Soldier by Daniel Mason is a really heartbreaking book set in 1914 and it's about a young medical student called Lucius, who's only about 22, who enlists to go to the war as a doctor and ends up being sent to this really remote outpost where the soldiers are being looked after in a church and are completely infected with typhus and all of the other doctors have fled. And Lucius is still a student, he's never even so much as lifted a scalpel himself, so he has to learn everything from the one nurse who remained, this amazing woman called Sister Margaret. And then one day, Lucius will make a decision that ends up changing his life, the nurse's life, and the patient's life forever. And then let's go a little bit more light-hearted for my final two recommendations. The Temperance Brennan series by Kathy Reichs is the book series that the TV show Bones is based on. It's loosely based on the books and partly actually based on Kathy Reichs' life herself. So this is one of those medical crime crossover series. It's a lot of fun. This series started in 1997 and there are 20 books so far and they're still going. And then one more series on that theme, the Kay Scarpetta series by Patricia Cornwell. David Baldacci is a massive fan of this series. These books are about Kay Scarpetta, who is a medical examiner who solves murders, often using very recent forensic technology. So again, a really exciting series. So I would love to know your favourite recommendations on this theme. And again, we are just so grateful for the amazing doctors and nurses who look after us. So I love books that really shine a light on what they do. So leave us your recommendations. I will link here to a playlist of loads more of our book recommendation videos for you to browse through and I'll see you next time.